No matter what I do, I get in deeper and deeper and deeper. Cheer up. Eventually, you must hit the bottom. <laughs> Who's that? It is I, Digby O'Dell, the friendly undertaker. <laughs> I didn't see you, Digger. It's so dark here on the porch. Greetings, Riley. You're looking fine. Very natural. <laughs> what brings you here, Digger? Well, I just dropped by to give you one of my 1948 calendars. Huh? This poem on it is one I wrote myself. Happy New Year, one and all. May this calendar remind you, as you travel down the road of life, I'll be right behind you. <laughs> Well, that's fine, Digger. But tell me, Riley, why so glum on this merry New Year's Eve? Well, I, I got trouble with my boy. Ah, yes. Boys can be a problem. Yesterday, a gang of scamps stole a sign from a dress shop and hung it on the door of my business establishment. Oh, I was devastated. Oh, why? What did the sign say? Let us give you the new look. <laughs> Well, Junior's trouble is that he dated two girls for New Year's. Oh, that is a predicament. Yeah. Identical thing happened to me once. Yeah? You dated two girls? Well, what did you do? Oh, I tried everything. Finally, in desperation, I dug up another man. <laughs> well, no, Junior couldn't do that. You see, one of the girls, her father's my landlord, and if Junior breaks the date, he'll evict me. Oh, how unfair. I also own property, but once I move a person in, I let him stay put. <laughs> the other girl is my foreman's kid, and he'll fire me. Well, you can always come and work for me. I've got an opening, and I'd like to see you fill it. <laughs> no, i got to think of something else. I, I shall ponder with you. Uh, hmm. Suppose Junior doesn't take either girl. Well, for a valid reason, of course. Well, yeah. Like if he was sick and had to go to bed. They say there's a lot of flu going around. I could say, I'll do it. Bully for you. Oh, thanks, Digger. Now I feel like a new man. I was really licked, but you put me on my feet. I did? Well, in your case, I'll make an exception. Here <laughs> you I'd better be shoveling off. 